Yeah, yeah they're at both ends of the stadium. Blue iron, blue iron, blue iron. For those of you who are watching online at goldenlawyertv.org, obviously, you can see that. It's going to be Weston Roy to kick off for the Titans wearing number 89. 10 and 1 Sterling against 10 and 1 Boylan Catholic. Nigel is going to be hit and dropped at about the 40 yard line. A big return for Nigel Bruce. He fumbled the ball around the 20 yard line. He wasn't tackled until he got to about the 40. And when he turned the corner, guys, it looked like he had a chance to do some big time damage. Well, yeah, Gingo, go. As he's yelling and I'm looking down, there's nobody on that side. So you knew he was getting around the corner. It was just how far. I stole Jerry's line there. You did. All right, so Sterling starts this drive against this great Boylan defense from its own 40. Nigel Bruce. Here's that hand off to the left. Nigel Cam Bruce. Bailey. Sterling will go with two receivers to the right. We'll and it's going to be a handoff up the middle to Nigel. Eight. Less than two yards per carry. They've only allowed three rushing touchdowns all season. This is game 12. Nigel got two back to the 38, so it's going to be second and 12. <laughs> I'm, I'm cheering. I'm all excited because this receiver's got a great lock-on block. Run back. Right. Nigel, the ball there with three blockers ahead of him. And the best part of this, Jimmy, is he made a third and makeable. All right. Uh, yeah. Sterling. Yeah. The East is in a Golden Warrior first down on third and two. I'll tell you, not only a great bank, he said you can. And it's trouble. If you don't put a helmet on Henderson, it's going to be a long day. He's going to make a play. Lots of fun in the proverbial country mile here for SHS. Forever. Oh. Uh, Sterling needs to get downs. All right, for the first time in the playoffs and for just the 15th time this season, uh, on to punt for the Golden Warriors, uh, number 12, Cooper Willman. Six of his punts came in the Sycamore game. Kicking from left to right. Good snap back. And Willman gets it away, high into the air, kind of Willman's block. Henderson fields at the 30, looking for the line. middle, and he squirms past a couple of tacklers and takes it out to the 41-yard line. Yard That's line. where Boylan will take over with its first offensive possession of this quarterfinal game. No score with 9-10 to go in the first quarter. Montini and Evergreen Park, they'll kick off their playoff game that plays into the winner of this one. They won't kick off until 2 o'clock. So it's first down here for Boylan. They'll rotate quarterbacks like Sterling does. They go with number 17, John Stark, and number 18, Jake Bergame, because of an injury. So he hasn't had to play a lot. Give him one there, second and nine. Tackle that time by Nigel Bruce. Right there. So third and one for the Titans. Two for they trust their defense, so why wouldn't you with the numbers that it's put out? All right, Wilson, make the noise. Because they're second quarterback here for this fourth down play. Be careful on the, the snap down here. He's got it. We stymied him at the 50, but his forward lean got him to the 49, maybe a little bit farther than that. The spot's going to be good enough for a first quarter. Official timeout for a measurement. Yeah, we actually had him inside the, you know, and we got a really good spot. They could have easily marked that at a point. You just don't want to fall asleep against. Yes. And they're one of those teams that will surprise you with it over the middle. Back for the, uh, to 36. Thank you, guys. It's nice to see number eight playing linebacker for the Golden Warriors. Marquez Williams is in there. Dylan Bryant. Back deep here for the Golden Warriors. Uh, these are situations where when you're the return man, you've got to talk in the pregame. Passing's got to be their option, not Boylan's option. So pass when you want, can't look for quarterback. Burden out. Isaiah Ryan comes in, as does uh, Quentin Spalding. Sterling will go with four receivers to each direction. They're pretty good on the perimeter. Number 12 just is 350 for the first quarter. Third and two for Sterling. When we come back after this timeout. His number one used car dealer with two locations to serve you better on East Third Street. Sterling's second first down of the game. I was telling you, Cooper's got that it factor. I mean, he just has that it. You know, he, you know, just went for you. When you get hung up outside, they're going to game tackle you. Outside of Cooper, woman's really unbelievable. Weston reacted like he was pretty sure they're going to call it on. Because the defensive back, his reaction is to grab. Oh, Sterling has been on the boil in half of the field. 
So two minutes and 40 seconds and ticking for the opening quarter. Second and five here. Had good movement, but then Trey takes the linebacker out of the play. DJ's able to cut off of that. Sterling down to the Boylan 20. Up run. I mean, it is him, and I, and I like how he holds on. I think Coop would have found himself with some real estate over there. All right, uh, Sterling and four down. Sterling dodges a bullet there, and now a huge fourth and six. Fourth and six from the Boylan 24. 119 to go first quarter of this play. Oh, you're wrong. A minute 13 to go first quarter. No score. Sterling, nice drive, but it ends on downs. And now Boylan takes over. That was a nice pass and catch right there. I mean, he had a perfect stride as he was coming out of there for a team that doesn't throw much. They ran that really well. He closed down on that thing and stopped it to four. Second and six. Nice play by Marquez to bring the ball. Total offense in the first quarter, Sterling with 51, Boylan with 28, Boylan with a big third and five as we start. Great field position starting over just outside, starting this drive, just inside of the Boylan. There's been a couple of runs, guys, where, yeah, you look like they, they were ready to pop, obviously. What do you think of the crowd here today, Matt? It's pretty good. Boylan brought a lot of people. You know, we're missing some students because we got volleyball and we got swimming going on. Came down with both feet at the same time, but we don't have a good angle to see that. And the referee, obviously, the side judge over there was obviously uh, right on it. Sterling will go three and out after forcing where Boylan will take over. No score early second quarter, 10.45 to go. Here at... It's going to have been a loss of yardage. One of my recipes, or my recipe, was first down defense. We haven't really succeeded so far on first. Yard line, I should say. Just inside of 10 minutes to go. Second quarter, no score. Boylan has not threatened to score yet. They have the ball. For the second quarter. Boylan now with the line of scrimmage at its own 46. yards and all of a sudden Boylan has to punt from its own 22 and Sterling should get pretty good field position. Dylan bring everybody there and you got a chance I think to get one of those little pop screens out there. Quentin Spalding and uh, Weston Sisson. Advantage points point that's what it looked like. Yeah that's it that's a little you know they spread option right there and they, they get everybody out there and they the big Jacob Cape six foot six 275 pounder Recovering the fumble, Sterling maintains possession. I'll First take. down into the right, only got a yard. Sisson Sterling's leading receiver with 22 grabs coming in. He's also cut. Down to about the 37. It'll bring up third down. Ron, you got a little shovel pass. You got a screen pass going back the other way. Now you got a chance for Cooper. What are you coming back with? Hard line on the boil in half of the field. I back in the schoolyard, we'd say same play. Whoa. Same play on two. Exactly. All right, so trips to the right here for the Golden Warriors. First and ten. Yeah, run the same play again. They had everybody stacked inside, got the quick screen outside, and man, Isaiah made a nice run. Got about four times now. So some good mojo, some good Absolutely. momentum. Afoot. All he's done in this whole series is he set up. One here, it's third and 13. You're just outside of Eric DeVilla's field goal range. You, you kind of want to have his range. You, you want to be around the 15 to give him a chance here. Sterling has outgained Boylan 101 to 40, but he's rushing on 13 carries. They picked up. 10 there in a first down for Trey Malone. Sterling last year in the quarterfinals on the road defeated Marion Catholic. Marion Central Catholic. Eight and ticking for the first half. Boylan taking its time as they come up to the line of scrimmage. There's no score. They take time off with these. Pushing yards so far in the first half. Sterling with 70. Boylan with 23. Boylan is 0 for 4 on third down now in the first half. They're punting here on fourth down. Hunting from left to right, a minute 17 to go. Sterling will get the ball with uh, three timeouts, a very low kick. Line. It's going to come out of the field. Cam Bailey is at quarterback. Sterling will have uh, Duran and inside of a minute. Hurry up offense. Late second quarter, no score between Sterling and Five, a gain of 21 for Trayvon Jordan on his fifth catch of the year. Nice ball by Cam. Stood in there strong. Finds a wide open.
for about a three yard gain as he tried to switch for a field goal. Sterling going quick. You need 15 yards to have a chance at a field goal here. You do have a timeout that you can take. There's no score in this game. 17 Chase Dixon. So it'll be four Johnsons out there right now. I think he has some options on this, but I think right now with Cam in the game, you know, he's got a good arm. You take a shot in the end zone. From the 31 yard line, final play. In the coach's corner, what did they see make defensively and offensively to, to get, a, get a score or two on the board? Trey Malone held to 19 yards rushing on five carries in a 34 to 14 win over Wheaton St. Francis. The thing that scares me the most about the second half right now that's going to come up in about 30 seconds is the opening kickoff yep. of the second half. Boylan returned to kickoff for a touchdown last week, and in a game like this, you know, just to, you know, something like that could be, it, it just freaks me out right now thinking about this. In a game on a special team, I mean, you can just win flat out win a game. you got to be careful. I think they're good at returning. I think we're field and uh, get ready for the start of the second half here between the Golden Warriors and the Titans. Uh, no score as uh, Eric Davila has it teed up and ready to go here for SHS. Kicking from right to left. The lights are on. It's uh, or overcast than it has been all day, but still... Lots of bright sunshine through the clouds out there, and Sterling called for offsides on the kickoff. So now it's going to cost Sterling five more yards. That's too bad. That was a good kick angle to the sideline. Both teams with two in the first half. That's one of those just doesn't make sense penalties. You've been on the kickoff team all year. You know exactly what you sprint, but it's the playoffs. It's the quarterfinals. You're a little more juiced up than you've been, and you get an extra stride. So now Eric Davila will kick off from the 35-yard line. Boylan has three players deep. Again, they return to kickoff for a touchdown late in that game. Uh, it was a momentum-shifting kickoff return for a touchdown against St. Francis last week. They'll kick this one high and short. It's going to be fielded at about the 19-yard line by Henderson up the middle. Henderson breaks one tackle up the middle. He's not going to break more than that. And Sterling will end up with good kick coverage um, as uh, Boylan will take over inside their own 30-yard line. Whew. All right, Matt, I can... You can break. I can... I'm not hyperventilating anymore. <laughs> Sterling's defense was very, very good in the first half. Boylan held to less than 55 yards of total off. We give up three, four yards every first down, but then we stifle them on second down and force third and long. Cooper Wellman, Marquez Williams, Isaiah Ryan, and nine option. They pitch it near side. It's Henderson. Henderson breaks it. Popped it, but that wasn't enough. You got it wrapped. Receiver to the far left is number 20 day. I think they found some things, and I think this defensive line is more confident because the linebackers are covering back quickly. Makes a tackle at the spot for a short game. The Sterling fans making some noise on third down. No score. Initially, but he was able to turn it up field and get a couple. All right, huge play. Boylan is going to go. Fourth huge play in both ways. Fourth and three from its own 49 for the Titans. That's tough to do, but what all you really want your offense to do right now is switch field position. Oh, yeah. Nigel, four on first down. Willman is the quarterback here, starting the second half. Look for Willman to keep this. That's a great play because it's like a double screen. It looks like... It's a fake handoff and a run for Cooper Willman. And Willman is going to run up the middle. Give him about four. Close to four yards, second and six for the junior quarterback. Sterling with just over eight minutes to go, third quarter here in the IHSA. Class 5A state quarterfinal. Sterling and Boylan are scoreless. I tell you, he just, Johnny Rand came on a trap play, came around the corner. Woman just kind of put his hand on and said, take me home, boy. Take me home. <laughs> take me home, big boy. <laughs> big Johnny Rand leading the way. Three-year starter on the offensive line. And uh, Willman in fumble. trouble. Fumble. They're going to scoop a score. And it's going to be oh, going the other the way official. for Boylan. Cooper Willman blends scores on defense. Somebody missed a block, that, and, and Cooper had no chance. And, you know, if Coop could do it over, he, he would have just eaten it. I mean, he was trying to do something to make something out of nothing, and uh, that didn't work well. Remote start, and he did see that. It'll be Weston Roy to kick off now for Boylan. Titans on top, 7 to nothing. They've done nothing on offense, but they lead by 7. Oblong ball bounces lots and lots and lots of time. So Sterling, one, one crazy bounce of the football is cost you a touchdown, and now you got a six, 
12.46 for the third quarter. Clock stopped. Deep the ball back and try to change the momentum. Yeah, because that's a really ugly three and out right there. You yeah. know what I mean? You gain two yards, you, you drop a pass, and then you get sacked. Eh, that's, that's not a good thing. So Cooper Wilman on the punt for the third time. And the kick is away. Line drive kick. It'll take the so it's a chance here. 5.49 to go third quarter. Boylan, seven. Sterling, nothing. Only one win. Nigel Bruce not in the game right now. He came off after the second down play on that last series, favoring his leg. It looks like he made Sterling Chevrolet Field. Cool and crisp. Actually cold and crisp. Temperature was below freezing at kickoff. Sterling was able to stop him after a four-yard game. Now, you you got you to gotta handle this like it's a pass play, like it's a shotgun play. Just... Just blitz the heck out of this thing and get in his face and for, try to block the, the field. With uh, DJ Johnson at running back, Cooper Willman is at the court. We've reached the four-minute mark of the third quarter. Actually give DJ two the game with Boylan right now. And with Boylan ahead, 7-0, they don't care. No, no they're happy. So now... Boylan will get good field position again. Caleb Henderson back deep to field this punt from We saw last time Super he's Wilman. dangerous. Wilman stands at his own five-yard line. Needs to get a good one off here. He averages about 32 yards per kick. Kick is high into the air, angling to the sideline, and it'll take a good roll past Henderson, but he picks it up on the run and breaks Back on your favor. side of two minutes to go in the third quarter. And uh, hats off to them. They've been great. Third and long here as Boylan comes up to the line of scrimmage. Going to be a play action pass. Bergstrom, the lefty rolls. Punch the ball in the end zone. Boylan has not made a red zone trip offensively in this game. But they lead seven to nothing. I, I it's got to be from the spot where the foul occurred, or you do that every time. Special there's a long, there's a long. Take advantage of it by by just grinding. Get a few first downs. Get yourself in good position. Yeah. Yeah. Touchdown in the third quarter of about 40 yards by Tim Fay. Oh, Sterling has not converted a first down. DJs for Sterling's offense and no first downs. So Cooper Willman on to punt with Boylan leading by the score of 7 to nothing, And they're going to try to run some clock. Coop needs a good punt here to give Sterling some field position. And he gets a good one off. Left in the tank, Team 114. Second and 12 for Boylan from its own 43 yard line. They were already sitting oh, at defensive one. score by, by Boylan. So Boylan now from its own 31, second and. Just read that perfectly. Heck of a job. Welcome back, Marquez. On to punt once again is uh, Angelo Ducato. Sterling sends Bryant and Isaiah Ryan back deep. The third quarter by Tim Fay, linebacker for the Titans. Loose ball fell into his hands and he rumbled it, doing anything on offense right now. Play comes in from the sideline, second and 12 after the two yard loss. 8.25 and ticking for the fourth quarter. Needs a first down, Jerry, in the worst way, just to get your confidence just back a little bit. Just to get a first down, that's exactly right. Yeah. Left edge, looked like Mitch Trubisky there. You're just going to let that one go? Carries. Did that go on that play? It's like a counter trade. You take two linemen, you go yeah. over there. You, you they make the motion look like it's just drive. Sterling trailing by the score of seven to nothing. First and ten from the Boylan from the Golden Warrior sideline. Both teams with their full allotment of timeouts. 
Late 30 for Did you see anything here? Personal foul. And with 635 to go in the fourth quarter. First down for the Golden Warriors at the Boylan 15 yard line. Second trip for the Golden Warriors inside the Boylan half points here, as if that isn't completely obvious. We are halfway through the third quarter with Boylan. Boylan leading by seven. kicks this year. The quarterback Cooper Willman to snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
just a moment. When you use your Lowe's business credit...